up, I need a step back. Constantly online, constantly step back soon. Every day, see so many people doing the things you do, and they're doing it better too. Whoa, whoa. It's like, why should I even try? When there's always some other guy who's way ahead of you that makes it look easy. Why would they need me? Oh, I hear it now. I'm just being me. You always do it better than me I just wanna be loved like you I just wanna miss me too Just wanna be the one they choose, yeah I just wanna be loved That's really, really cool for you Yeah, everything you do is cool It's kind of unbelievable it's all so unachievable, yeah, almost inconceivable. I'll never do it like you do. And I know I'll go in a hole's supposed to be. The stuff that comes easy and I've tried almost everything, but it just hasn't worked yet. I try not to envy you, to get angry you, do it better than Myself to lose confidence, but you always do it better than me. I just wanna be loved like you. I just wanna miss me too. Just wanna be the one they choose. Yeah, I just wanna be loved. Oh, I hate comparison, cause it makes me feel lesser than striving for perfection, thinking somebody will see me then. No, don't get me wrong, really want everybody to succeed But can you start with me? Like, why was it hurting on me? Why was it hurting on me? Wish someone could redesign me But not have this out to find me Why was it hurting on me? Why was it hurting on me? Envy is gonna blind me Why was it hurting on me? Hello, everybody. Welcome into the live stream. Today we are playing Please Forgive Me, which is an indie horror game from Emika Games. We've played a lot from this company before, so I can ensure it will absolutely be scary. I mean, at this point, we've maybe played like seven or eight of their games, and I've liked all of them. Some have been better than others, but for the most part, I've liked them all. But hello, everybody. Got some old names in the chat. Got some chat chat in the name. <laughs> Got some names in the chat I have not seen in a while. So good to see you all. Ooh, the Resident Evil 4 remake. How are you enjoying it? Uh, this game that we're playing, it's... I think it's categorized as a walking simulator. So you're just sort of like walking around and interacting with things. And as you interact with the correct things and move the story along, scary things will happen. There have been a lot of games from this company that have like scary mannequins, but we haven't seen mannequins in a while. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Hello, everybody. Hello. How is everyone feeling after last night? I heard Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl. That's crazy, right? Isn't my hair growing so fast? I feel like it's so long already. It's crazy. Going to be long before you know it. I actually had a dream that my hair was long again. And I was like, damn, it grew so fast. That's crazy. Um, but anyway, also last night, my very close and personal friend, Usher, performed. And I, I left this story on Instagram. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, me and him are, are close personal friends. No lie. This is the truth. 
<laughs> one time when he he came into the restaurant I was working at in New York City where I was a waiter. He sat in my section and he complimented my hair and he said he really liked it. And you know, ever since then, we've just been really close personal friends. Um, haven't heard from him since, but I feel the energy. I feel the love. <laughs> uh, peanut butter solution. What is that about? Oh, it's about fast hair growth. Nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, the red team won last night, won the Super Bowl last night, right? Trick question, because both teams were red. But no, I, I do know that Kansas City won because I saw the very adorable picture of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey kissing on the field afterwards. So I guess they won. That's all that's all I know about it. Uh Oh yeah, Clown Cafe halftime show, maybe. Or maybe a Leah Voicey halftime show. Though, I would never want to do the halftime show. You have to pay for that shit yourself and you don't even get you don't even get money for it. You literally have to fund it yourself. They're like, "Would you love this honor of performing at the halftime show which you will pay for yourself?" No. But yeah, the little John, the little John and the um actually all of the cameos were great. Alicia Keys looked fucking incredible. Her looked incredible. Ludacris and Lil John, I didn't remember what they looked like, but they that was so fun. That was great. I really loved it. That I, I watched it today though. I didn't watch the uh the Super Bowl. I didn't I also did not go to a Super Bowl party because I was in a little quarantine mode. Um I had seen some friends earlier in the week and then they um they came down with strep and COVID. So I decided to stay inside. But if I'm not sick by now, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. Yeah, were there any good commercials or anything? Yeah, they have to pay for it themselves and they don't even get paid for it. BS. So you gotta be like super rich to be able to, to fund it. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty good halftime show. I felt like Usher's voice was maybe a little weak, but he was dancing like a monster. So like, can you really... Can you really blame the man? Um, okay, I think that we should get gaming soon. But first, I have to thank my patrons. I left a couple polls this week uh, related to the stream, and you all answered. The first was the game that we were going to play. We were between two. They picked Please Forgive Me, which I will... I'm pulling up Steam now, so I'll read you to the description. And the other poll was what shirt I should wear, and they picked my Hellraiser shirt that I made myself. So thank you, my patrons. If you, too, would like to have a say in things like that, as well as get some behind-the-scenes song covers, behind-the-scenes videos, you can join my Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. And also, at 9 p.m. tonight, my time, we might still be streaming at that point, um, a new song cover will go live for the patrons. So... Thank you, patrons, for all your love. Okay, let's find the game. Please forgive me. I'll read you all the description of the game. Please Forgive Me is a psychological horror game that tells the creepy story of an overconfident realtor named Pavel. He needs to check the old apartment and rent it to a certain woman. This night will turn into a real nightmare for him. I like that you guys picked this one because I like I liked last week having a character to root for. So we had Waylon. This week we have Pavel. So hopefully we can save Pavel's life the way that we saved Waylon, but it's nice having a hero to root for, right? You know? You know? Hey, I did not say that, Rob. Don't... I would never, ever say that about my close personal friend, Usher. I just said he sounded a little tired. But I was also thinking about... I was thinking about the year that Maroon 5 did the halftime show and Adam Levine took his shirt off and everyone was like, Eh. And then this year, Usher took his shirt off and it was very dreamy, I will say. I was like, ooh, he's taking his shirt off. Ah, my lord, my lord. All righty. Y'all ready? Gonna turn the music off. 
and we are gonna get streaming. Ba -ba -da -ba. Let's load up that game, baby. Disclaimer, the game contains scenes of violence and profanity. Some episodes may epilect. Oh, that was a really fast disclaimer. And I don't read this language. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. If you have headphones on, it's an experience, by the way. Ah! Alicia Keys took her cape off and she looked fucking great. Alicia Keys looked amazing. Truly incredible. That outfit was to die for. You know what she was giving? She was kind of giving Lydia from um, Beetlejuice. English. I, I feel like this is Polish. Polish? Anyone know? I think it's Polish. I'm not 100% sure, though. Whoa. Hey, why did it go into a window? Full screen it. Settings. Okay. We could do. We could do higher settings. Uh, well, we'll figure all that out. Are we ready? Are we ready, y'all? I'm nervous. These games always... Oh, it's Russian. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. It's Russian. <laughs> oh, my phone is ringing. Yes, Sergey. Pavel, hi. That's me. Wait, this is way higher quality than any of the other games from Emika. I have one small request for you. Just don't start. Please forgive me. The name of the game. You are the best real estate agent in my firm, and I have no one else to turn to. The client is very significant, you know, and the business is only 30 minutes. Plus, great commissions. A nice bonus to the honeymoon trip. How many? 20% of the deal. You need to check the apartment before renting and make sure everything is in order. And leave the keys under the rug at the entrance. 30%. You cut me without a knife, you greedy ass. Well, in that case, check the apartment yourself. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, I agree. I'll throw in another 10% for urgency. Look at me. I'll send the geolocation now. The client will call you and you will agree to everything. Just don't be rude to him, please. thought the client was a woman. Another 20%. Hey, thank you, Dale. Squeaky Dale for the $5. So the, the notification hasn't gone off yet. I should wait for the notification to go off before I say thank you, right? <laughs> Yo, welcome in, Silky Forest Moose, AKA Tuesday. Welcome in, welcome in. These graphics are great, right? Compared to the others. Why didn't the widget go off? I'm upset. Why didn't it go off? Hold on. I hope you have enough time, everything ready. My mother will be very tired after her trip, but she'll need rest. Shall I fluff her pillows too, or is that too much for you to do? Well, Sergey warned about your personality. Ha ha ha. My personality? What's wrong with my personality? It sounds familiar. Have we met before? Unlikely. Let's keep it that way. So long. God bless you. We see you, Squeaky. Hmm, the night promises to be interesting. We see you. But I don't know why that didn't go off. I'm upset about that. Why, Widget? I'm testing the widgets. They should be working. Oh, there we go. Squeaky Dale donated five dollars through the super chat. Thank you, Squeaky. I don't know why the chat's being weird, but let's get gaming. Chat's just a little delayed. Sergey the Stallion. Hey, remember we're Pavel. <laughs> Hot girl shit. Sure is. And I feel like I can make it a little bit more... Um... Lighter. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Apply. 
Oh shit, I quit the game. That wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, sorry guys, I accidentally quit the game. <laughs> Sergey's got that WAP. Yeah, I can see it. I, I get that vibe from him. But don't forget, we are Pavel. Bestie. I'm so sorry we have to go through this again. I don't know why I clicked quit. I'm dumb. I'm dumb! Yeah, at least it wasn't like that one time where I, the guy forced me to quit the game on purpose. Like a jerk. English. Play. So we're gonna have to watch all this again. <laughs> Oh gosh, well, how's everybody doing? Yeah, right? Good thing I didn't start yet. No, I don't want to do a short stream tonight. I want to finish the game. That's the goal of these streams from now on. It's to finish a whole game in one stream. Pavel, Sergey, WAP, same thing, same thing. <laughs> Best mood you've been in weeks. I love that for you. I've been in a pretty good mood too. I've been in a pretty good mood. Ooh, a bloody Valentine's event. Does anyone have Valentine's Day plans? I have Galentine's Day plans. I'm I'm painting some pottery with my gals for Galentine's Day tomorrow. And I'm very excited. Ooh, CJ Graham of Friday the 13th was there. Did you get to meet him? That's pretty exciting. <gasps> Running on four hours of sleep. Were you partying for the Super Bowl? Fuck with your rules. All right, I should pay attention. This last time, I didn't pay attention. That's why I really quit the game. <gasps> oh, no. I'm sorry that happened, Squeaky. I hope that you were able to be there for her. Welcome in, Edge. Yes, I'm listening. Good evening, Pavel. My name is Michael. I'm calling about the apartment. I know. I hope you have enough time to get everything ready by morning. My mother will be very tired about her trip and she will need to rest. Get everything in order and prepare the bed. Should I fluff the pillows too or is that too much for you to do? Sergey warned me about your personality. <laughs> so... I'm a smart ass, it seems. I'm glad that you're joking, Tuesday. Yeah, I don't have Bad Mood Leah live. Bad Mood Leah does happen a lot, though. Whoa! Who's pawn my car? Oh no! Ah! Fucking dog! Scared the shit out of me. Oh, did I make it brighter? I'm not gonna quit this time. I don't think I did. Yeah, we gotta... Let's make it brighter. Back. Resume. Yeah, sometimes live I, I get in a bad mood. Who keeps glass like this? It's not safe! I love that there's voiceover in this game now, except it's in Russian. So I still have to read them out loud. But this is majorly improved. This is definitely one of their newer games. I would have to... I would have to guess. Oh, well, it can't do anything up here. Ooh, I hear, I hear a bug. I hear a bug. It buzzed in my ear. Crossing logs. Yeah, when I had to cross a log in that game, that definitely got me in a bad mood. Am I supposed to, like, pick up the glass? No? Okay. Well, then, let's... Ah! What was that? Hello? Here's the damn apartment. I hope it's unlocked. 
read them in a Russian accent. Oh my gosh, I feel like I would just be offensive. I would not be good at that. Where's the key? And my phone died. Oh, poor Pavel. So at this point, I'm like, do we want Pavel to survive? He kind of seems like an asshole. You know? Kind of gives douche vibes. So I'm like, do... <laughs> ah! Интересно, в этом чертовом доме хоть что-то работает? Did that break? No, okay, the glass didn't break. Is it still just sitting there? Oh, no, it's gone. There was glass here. Now the glass is gone. Mm. Yeah, they're not as scary when they're not this bright, but I can't fucking see, so... We gotta do what we can. Okay, the glass is gone now. Which is freaking me out. Did the elevator get here? Did not. What is that? Power tool? Okay, we've called all of the elevators. One of them has to arrive, right? Ooh, Pavel's a job guy. That makes sense. That's why he's so mean. It is possible. Okay, I'm thinking that because that pane of glass that was there is now gone. It's leading me to believe I should go up the stairs now. But maybe not. Maybe... Ah! Okay. Something fell. Nothing up here. <laughs> What's in the bags? Body parts. Can we go downstairs? Maybe there's a key room downstairs. Ah, the garden apartment. Has anyone here lived in a in a basement apartment? I used to live in a basement apartment. And I could tell you. It was it was not the best. It flooded once. Oh shit, the glass did break. I didn't even see it on the floor. There it is. Broken glass. The elevator is not working. Okay. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Did someone run upstairs? What's in the box? Yeah, I lived in a basement apartment once, and it was horrible. Where did everyone go? Do I need to peek through every stairwell now? Ah, so you're right. Yeah, you're just like me. Getting flooded. Ah! What was that? What was that? What was that? Looks like I'm not alone in this house. Does appear that way. Okay, still nothing down here. Don't worry, Pavel. We'll make sure you get out alive and intact. Just like our friend Waylon from last week. Maybe it's open now. Still locked. Still locked. <gasps> the elevator's arrived, but I thought it was broken. Hmm. Lies are being told. Will there be costumed character entertainment, did I just say? Am I a furry? Am I a furry? Maybe I am. Let's hit all the buttons. Excuse me. Oh no. Oh no. I broke the elevator. If you are stuck, do not make an attempt to get out on your own. Keep calm and wait for help. Ah. The elevator is powered by Jesus? Is it going to go up to heaven or down to hell? Probably down to hell. That's what I'd probably guess for me. Also, that voice I just heard in the elevator was spooky. 
Also, the footsteps outside the elevator. Is anyone here? <laughs> ah! Yes. Yes, I'm stuck. Can you help? Thank you for your help, sir. Благодарю. А это случайно не вы, как сумасшедшие бегали по этажам? Hell is more fun. Jews don't believe in hell, that is true. But Jews, Jews also don't believe in Jesus, so... The elevator's powered by Jesus. Then I've been wrong. Wait, did he just get eaten? Something just attacked that guy. I'm scared. Uh, just the ad adjective spooky. Yeah, I wish it was spooky, my friend, but it's not. Help. Help me. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, no. Sir? <gasps> Whoa. 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 He had a lot of blood. He had a lot of blood. Okay. Well, something's obviously gone wrong in this apartment building. Sir? Oh god. Did he get eaten by the dog? Can I get in yet? No. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, the door opened. I just checked it and it was locked. And now it's open. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Satan made his own afterlife with hookers and blackjack? That sounds like Vegas. That's where I live. Now it's locked again. It was open, but it's locked again. I don't think that's fruit punch. Haha, <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> uh, they shot this in my bathroom during my blonde phase. Wait, you're so right. They totally ja jacked my fucking photo shoot theme. Rude, duh. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody alive out there? Wait, I just heard something. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's a broken glass under my feet. Anything up here? No. God, what am I supposed to do now? Futurama reference. I watched like one episode of Futurama, but I remember what happened. The guy, Zach Brannigan, I think his name was, had like the funniest line that I think, I still think is the funniest thing ever. They were going on a mission where he thought he was gonna die and he turns to, to Fry and he's like, if I don't make it back, Tell my wife, I said. Hello. And I don't know why. Thought that was the funniest shit I'd ever heard in my whole life. And I still stand by it. Okay, should we uncall the elevator, maybe? <gasps> okay, 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 okay. We uncalled the elevator. Should we call it again? Should we call this elevator again? That one's not coming. It's not letting me in. Okay, it's not letting me in the elevator. So that's obviously not the way. This is not the way. So let's unclick all the elevators. Maybe that is the thing. Oh, you're a very bad person and should pay for your deeds. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Maybe this is hell. Oh, the voice in my ear. I don't like it. Ooh, that's a good idea. I'll call the escalator. Wait, he's speaking a lot. What else are you saying? I can't understand you. There's no subtitles. Is he just repeating? 
поплатиться за свои деяния. Вы очень плохой человек и должны поплатиться Stop за свои деяния. Stop talking to me! Stop talking to me! Должны поплатиться за свои деяния. Вы очень плохой человек. Oh, it's coming from here. И должны поплатиться за свои деяния. Вы очень плохой человек. It's very loud over here. Должны поплатиться за свои деяния. Вы очень плохой человек. Excuse me. Должны поплатиться за свои. I turned you fucking off. This is so scary. The scary voice. Ah! Turn it off. Should I ring the bell? I can't. Can I break that fucking radio? I want to break this fucking radio. Turn off! Turn off! Turn off! How many times can I click it before I decide it's not the way? It's freaking me the fuck out. He does kind of sound like Jabba. Oh god, the door's open again. Let me in this fucking apartment. Don't come in. I have to come in. It's my job. It's my job. Oh god. Oh, ha, ha. There was a dead guy in there. Wait, there's a woman. There's a woman crying. Yes, ma'am? <gasps> no! Oh, tell me I fucking turned it back on. I turned it back on. Oh, God. Uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Nothing in there. I mean, that person looked naked. Oh, oh. Hello, ma'am? Are you crying? Are you crying? Are you crying? Are you... Oh! What the fuck is going on here? I'm getting the hell out. I can't get the hell out. The door is fully locked now. Oh, God. I have to argue with the game instructions. I don't believe what I'm... I don't believe them when they tell me what to do. Oh, God. Uh, the radio's still on. Let me in. Let me in. The music is scaring me now. Let me in, let me in. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. Maybe I have to go upstairs? Still can't go that way. Hello? Hello? Oh, I hear something. Is it down here? <gasps> yes, okay. Behind this door will gnaw your face? I don't know if I should go. I don't know if everyone should. Oh, thank you, Johnny Horror. Am I the gorgeous queen you speak of? I am a princess, but I'm not offended by being called a queen. Oh my God. Too many naked people for my taste. One, per one naked person is too many naked people for my taste. Okay, so I don't wanna go in there because that thing will gnaw my face. Uh, not what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Not trying to get my face gnawed. Oh my god, yeah. Let's not make that a new thing on my stream. That there's naked people. <laughs> it just wants kisses. 
Um, I think it said it wanted to gnaw my face off. Um, yeah, um, well, you know, maybe. Maybe it could be sexy. Maybe that's what they meant. Should we find out? Should we find out? Should we find out? It's still the pride. Well, we are still proud. Proud lions. Open. No. Let me in. No. Turn off. Now it just won't shut off. I done fucked up, guys. Is there anything new? Do we see anything new? <gasps> Thank you for the correction. Gorgeous princess. I'm not nude shaming. I just don't want naked people on my stream. <gasps> Another note. Behind this door will rip out your guts? Uh, which one is it? Oh shit, what about through this door? Here you will cry and call your mommy? Hey. So? What? What's wrong with my mommy? Oh god, they're telling me what's gonna happen behind all the doors. Don't go into that apartment. But I- I have to. It's my job, what don't you understand? Oh god, all these notes. Yeah, this- this radio is pissing me off. You will die here today? Not if I have anything to say about it, Pavel. Pavel, do you think you're gonna die today? I sure hope not. Pavel, I will work to save you, I promise. No nudity in this game yet. Anything could change, though. There's been nothing on the upstairs door yet. Anything? Okay, no notes up here. I bet it's gonna be in the elevator. I'm gonna close the elevator again. <laughs> Tuesday's like, I'm not gonna call my mommy, but I absolutely will call my daddy. Same. Daddy? Daddy? Please help. Anything in the elevator? Nope. Hey, don't have that attitude. Pavel is not going to die. Pavel is going to live. Please turn off. Please. Please. Anything here? <gasps> what is this? What is it? What is it? I don't know. Hard to tell. Hard to tell what that was. Okay. I need your help, y'all. What am I looking at here? What are we looking at here? It looks like footprints. Right? It looks kind of like footprints. Do you think I'm looking for footprints? What do you guys think? Yeah, Silky Forest Moose, Moose is Tuesday. Do we see any footprints on the ground? Any bloody footprints anywhere? Nothing yet. Maybe something out here? Nothing, nothing. <gasps> Footprints? It's a kid's drawing of a boat? No, that fully looked like footprints. Don't come for me. <gasps> what? What did I fucking say? Look, this is what it was. It was this. I'm so fucking smart. Look at that. That was what the drawing was. Okay, but it's still locked, so... Don't go into that apartment. Can I move this? <gasps> a key. A fucking key. I love.
love when I find things out easily. Okay, a key has been added to my inventory. Which which apartment do you think it's for? Oh my god, wait, I just looked away. What did I miss? Oh, I just missed a good jump scare. Oh, what was it? I fucking looked away. <gasps> no. Fine, I guess it kind of looked like a boat. How do I look at my inventory? I? How do I look at my inventory? Let's just click all the buttons. I'm clicking all the buttons. It was a demon monk, okay. I'm sad, was it good? Was it good? Was it a good jump scare? Maybe it's the upstairs door that the key is for. Press the right mouse button. Okay, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game, for telling me. I never would have gotten that. <gasps> it knocked. It knocked. It knocked. It knocked. It knocked. Okay, I, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, it may. I guess it's not that one. Maybe it's this one, then? Yeah, the jump scares are always really good in these games. Was that it? <gasps> I'm in. I'm in. I was scammed, son. I lost all of my money. He doesn't answer my calls. He pretended to be a good person. Oh, my heart. My heart. I don't feel good. <gasps> What happened? I'm in. Pavel is in. Someone locked me in this apartment. What's going on here? I'll wait until morning and then I'll call for help. Oh, I don't think he has until morning. I guess we'll see, but I don't think he has until morning. Huh? Yes? Hello? Hello? Okay. Can I answer? It's not letting me answer. Okay, okay. Okay, let's just... I have to find a flashlight. Oh. Flashlight? Anything in here? Anything? Anything? Just some creepy red light? No big deal. Weird. Door's locked. Oh wait, no, door's open. Wait, so what's the front door? Is this one the front door? I guess so. This is a kind of nice apartment. Besides all the creepy red lighting, it's it's kind of cool. If I was a flashlight, where would I be, though? Wow, there's a lot of rooms. A lot of rooms. All right, we got to find a flashlight. Oh, close the door on myself. Maybe in here. Yeah, literally, it's always like, gotta find a flashlight, gotta find a battery. Though in this game, once you find the flashlight, you usually keep it. This is a, a staple, I would say, of the Emika games, which I guess is a Russian company. I have to assume. Okay, no flashlight in here. I don't think there's going to be one in here either. Nope. All right. Into the fray. Oh! Okay. For your holiday, various costumes, sound accompaniment, laugh or scare. I don't like him. Scary clown. He is not going to die in this apartment. He will live. Also, how's the sound, everybody? I, I felt like in last stream, 
the uh, the game sound was maybe a touch too loud. So I turned it down a little bit this time. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I can't wait to watch that. I can't believe you have a friend who is a close personal friend of Usher's, just like I am a close personal friend of Usher's. That's so crazy. The DJ's got me falling in love again. God fucking damn it. If I had a flashlight, this would all be so easy. Was there a clue on this flyer? Call directly. Should I use the phone? It wasn't letting me use the phone before, even though the phone rang. <gasps> Black Parade. The sound is amazing. <gasps> you have two friends. <laughs> I'm not really a close personal friend of Usher's, though. It is a lie. It is a straight up lie. Please forgive me. <gasps> the name of the game. Now I'm asking you guys to forgive me, too. Lots of stuff in there. Ugh, where is it? I'm following. I'm following. Is that a flashlight? It's a power strip. It's a fucking remote control. There's something in here, but I can't see any of it. I'm going to all the light places and I can't fucking find a flashlight. Oh, okay. The toilet flushed. Somebody use the toilet. There isn't even a toilet in here. Could this be a separate toilet room? I just can't see the toilet. Oh, yeah. I guess that is a toilet. Hmm. Yes, I did move to Vegas to be closer to Usher specifically. Though when I saw, when I met Usher and we pe we became good friends, he was living in, or he was in New York. So. Is the TV on? Okay, we got light. Let there be fucking light. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Okay, I hear you, weird breathing man. I fucking hear you. It's 12.05. Time appears to not be moving. At all. Hello, welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Maybe you're supposed to take a candle? It said specifically flashlight. That's when I was a ginger, yes. When me and Usher became friends. <laughs> okay, more lights are just turning on. So, oh, I was going to say the longer I play, the more lights will turn on. But that one then just turned off. Okay, what changed? What changed? What changed? Anything clickable? Nada. Nothing's happened in this room yet. Hmm. Oh yeah, what's your idea? 
I'm waiting. So Squeaky's talking about a, a music video that I have that I, I made like five years ago that I've never released. I played it on stream once um, for funsies. And I have an idea of how I want to release it in relation to like all the other music that I'm releasing. But I'm still not 100% sure. Oh, this door was not open before. Okay, this is a new door. New door, new place. Oh, a flashlight. Hell yes. I have to look everywhere in this damn apartment. Maybe there's a key somewhere. F. To turn on the flashlight. Anything we can take? Yo, who is- someone has not been washing their dishes. What the hell, man? Do your fucking dishes, bro. Please forgive me for not doing my dishes, am I right? Oh, God! I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Oh, God. This game is called Please Forgive Me. It is an indie game from a company called Emika Games. They're basically just walking simulators with a lot of jump scares. And that one got me. Was that the scary thing I missed previously? I'm assuming that that's what it was. What I missed. Yes. 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 Oh, writer's desk. And our name is Pavel, and we're just checking out this apartment because we're supposed to be renting it out. But I gotta say, whoever lived here previously left a lot of their shit behind. So I don't know if the new tenant's really gonna be into it. You know? This creepily opened before. Yeah, we do love those. I have a lot of these um, where this one came from. This is typically, if you're new to the stream... This is a, a good, a good, uh, indication of what streams are normally like. The kind of games we normally play. Though I did just play Outlast. And I am interested in continuing with the Outlast series. <gasps> what, 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 what? Oh, I can close the door. Nothing in here. I hear voices. Let's go in the toilet closet. Okay, nothing of note in here. I hear voices. Where are they coming from? What is this? Your, my business card. What is my business card doing here? Oh my god. Uh, hello, welcome in. You need to play PT? Is it just called PT? Resident Evil Biohazard. I have a bunch of the Resident Evil games. Um, I honestly might just skip to four though. I don't have the remastered version though. I just have the regular old version. What is that noise? Oh, what is that noise? <gasps> Who put this? Who put this casket in my living room? Who put this casket in here? Oh god, I hate the noises. Do I have to pry it open? Is there something to pry? Oh shit, another one. Wait, who put these caskets in my house? Excuse me. Come take them. Come take them away. Oh, God, the noises. The noises. Another one. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Another one. Excuse me. Oh, God, the caskets. <gasps> huh? 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 
does it want me to get in it? I don't want to get in it. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. I'm probably going to have more game um, polls on the Discord. Not the Discord. Uh, in the Patreon. I'm probably going to have more more gaming polls. So if you have input in what, on what games I want to play, you can join. <gasps> oh! You can join for as little as $5 a month to my Patreon. Oh my god, that was so scary. Oh god, I hated it. Uh. <laughs> the game was never fully released. How do I get it then? How do I find it? Nothing. Oh, they fucking tricked me. They fucking tricked me. God fucking damn it, man. Are you serious? That was a whole trick. That was my business card. I already found that. Okay. Well, hopefully the caskets are gone now. <laughs> caskets are gone. Okay. 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 We're not gonna die here. Who says we're gonna die? We're gonna fucking live. It's alright. It's alright, Pavel. It was scary. But the caskets are all gone now. All gone. Now, what's different? The music got louder. Nothing's happened in the bathroom yet. I'm fucking upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. They tricked me. Uh, they tricked me into going closer to this casket. Just have a nothing piece of paper? Fucking bullshit. Oh! Oh! Hi! Oh, hi! I didn't know that- Welcome in, Dylan. This is Dylan, everybody. Moby Dylan. He's, uh, gonna be in The Boy From Below. Unless you're someone different who's just fronting with the name Dylan, but I assume it's Dylan. THE Dylan. Any pretzels? No, no pretzels have shown up in the bathroom yet. That's when we'll know we're getting close to the end. But what is next? Nothing's different. Nothing has changed. I'm looking for a clue, a piece of paper. Behind the door, maybe? <gasps> what is that? Oh, I thought that was a smiley face. It's not. It's an outlet. <laughs> it's you! Well, I'll have to check it out. Oh, yeah, the boy from below that uh, Tuesday's very pumped about the uh, the movie about about dominatrix, apparently. <laughs> uh, on the last stream, I was talking about the boy from below and Tuesday went to look it up. And for some reason, it said, oh, here's a piece of paper. It said um, it was must have been a glitch or something or I don't know, but it said like it was a movie about dominatrix. <laughs> And so Tuesday obviously donated like thousands of dollars because who doesn't want a movie about dominatrix? Dear son, you know how much I love you. I'm always with you in my heart and soul. Someday we will meet each other and my heart, frozen and covered with ice, will finally melt. The themes of PT push the envelope? Oh, I don't know. I accidentally showed a male appendage last stream. Uh, we're not trying to push the envelope here. We're just trying to get scared. <laughs> Frozen ice. What does she mean? The kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. The freezer. That's the clue. Wait, where is the kitchen? The kitchen's this way. Definitely the freezer. Right? I definitely read that correctly. <gasps> I was right. Was I? No, I wasn't right. Okay, just kidding. I thought there would be something in the freezer. But there's nothing. Frozen ice? Maybe there's ice in the bathtub? Another possibility. Nothing. Damn it. Hmm. Leah's the goat. Who, me? <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Ac 
accidentally showed a male appendage. I did. Uh, I did. It was an accident. I would never do it on purpose. What is different? This is where I got the note. Where was the note leading me? My heart is frozen? Well, this is the only room I haven't gone into again. Oh, the fucking casket's still there. Wait. That photo fell over. Is it still my business card? Yeah. Pavel. Good guy, Pavel. <sighs> yes, I'm the goat princess. Princess of goats. <laughs> That's my goat call. It's gotta be something in the kitchen. Can't pick up any of this shit. Yeah, where do you keep your frozen heart if not in the freezer? But it's not letting me. Click. Nothing down here. Y'all, I'm at a loss. I don't know how to make clips on YouTube. But if you know how to, definitely make a clip of me making goat noises, because... That was funny. Fuck this, man. This is where I found the note. Let me read it one more time. Maybe I missed something. You always know how much I love you. Someday we will meet. My heart, frozen, covered in ice, will finally melt. Maybe it's not a clue. It's just the fact that Pavel, like, said something. He was like, huh? Her frozen heart, what could she mean? It made me think. There's just so many things to click on and nothing's fucking clickable. There could be a metaphor. Could there be any secrets in the house? I don't know. Frozen heart. Is there a fireplace? Oh, the fucking scratching noise is really getting to me. Wait, there's a door behind here. Has that door always been there? Mother, where is your frozen heart? Maybe there's something on here now. Still nothing. Uh, maybe there's another love note. Did you check the toilet? Something melted. And also I'm hearing like scratching noises in here specifically. Do you hear the scratch? <gasps> the picture. Now all of a sudden, 
I can click on things? What is that? The sky, the sun, the clouds, the mountains. The mountain river runs below. The round stones lie around and they are lonely and they are silent. Oh, frozen heart, okay. Cause it's like a frozen tundra. Cool. So now it says the mountains. Okay, let's look at the pictures. Are these mountains? Yeah. Yeah, we figured it out, kids. There's been no water for two weeks. I so want to take a bath. I suffered enough already with only using a bucket. Thank you for the hearts, everybody, and the love, and I appreciate you. Okay, she wants to take a fucking bath, and there's been no water for two weeks. So we'll go into the bathroom. Well, there was a bucket outside the door. I think we're still on the pictures. Did you check the toilet in the note? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Thank you for the $2 also, Dale. You are the best. Something about water. There's been no water for two weeks. I don't think we're off the pictures yet. I mean, that's not it. No. <gasps> this one! Because it's turbulent seas? No. Yeah, I put all my love notes in the toilet. Maybe I have to close myself in the bathroom. There was nothing on the bucket. The bucket was right out here. She talked about a bucket. The water in the sink, maybe? <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you for the $2. That is such a delayed... Such a delayed little response. Oh! Oh, the bucket! The bucket. According to preliminary data, her heart stopped. Who? Who? Ha, that would be a shitty love note. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I see what you did there. Oh, ooh, ooh, someone's knocking. Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes, I'm coming. Yes. Yes. Stop knocking on my window. <laughs> I'll get in the casket. I'll get in the casket. Still nothing in the tub. That is me. Oh my god, my goat. <laughs> I actually like the tile in the bathroom too. It's fun. Hey, what are you guys fighting about? Who's picking on who? I hear you. Wrap it on the window. It is not letting me click on the window though, so I don't know what you want from me. It's a peeping Tom. I mean, again, it does appear that I'm supposed to do something in this room. But the answer is what? Does anyone see a note?
Oh, 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 right here, right here. Don't try to negotiate with him. He has only one goal, to drive you crazy and suck your soul. If you angered the inhabitant of darkness and he came for you, try to perform the exorcism as soon as possible. You need to shed the blood of the innocent. In this case, the demon will take it instead of you. But remember that any attempt to harm another living being will certainly lead you to even more suffering. Uh, God bless. <gasps> a goat wearing a crown? I love it. <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking knocking at the goddamn window. Like, bro, calm down. Why do you need me so badly? Pavel's busy. All right, where does it lead me next? We have to perform an exorcism. We have to exercise our bodies. <laughs> Just kidding, we have to exercise the demons. The music stopped when I walked in here. <gasps> Who turned the bathroom on? Who turned the water on? Excuse me. Who was using my bathroom? This is my bathroom. Wait, I guess it's not. I keep forgetting this is not my apartment. <gasps> this is not my apartment. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. Who broke in? Who broke in? Who broke in? Who broke in? A goat in the city limits? Let me out. Who broke into my apartment? Turn it off. Oh, I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick. Not helping. Pee on the toilet lid? That's not a bad idea. That is something men do a lot. Listen, I'm trying to have an exorcism. What do you want from me? If I was to exorcise my demons, where would I go? Pee on the ghost to establish interest. Well, certainly not without permission. We'd have to ask, excuse me, do you like getting peed on? Are you a fan? And if they say yes, then they're interested. Y'all, what do I do? I can't click on anything. Nothing. Ugh. What did the note say again? Oh my god, doing acid and exercising? No, thank you. You will need to shed the blood of an innocent? I don't want to do that, though. Maybe I turn the flashlight off? Oh, God. You guys, this is driving me crazy. I am for sure about to cheat. I should check all the windows. Yes, pee on the alarm with permission. Not a bad idea. Someone broke in, one of the windows would be broken, right? <gasps> ah! 
It scared me, Rob. Why? Why what? Y'all, oh, 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 new, 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 new. They distort the reality. They know how to drive a person out of their mind. It will seem to you that you are seeing something that really should not be. Don't give in. Do not rely on these manipulations. If you begin to believe in what is happening, they will take over your mind. The demonic radio station? I don't know if I played that game. Oh god. Yes. I'm coming. Yes. <gasps> Hello, Pavel. Can you confirm? Is it still available? I want to buy it. Bitch, you do not want to buy this apartment. Is that her? Am I in her apartment? Damn it, I'm an idiot. And I had the nerve to joke of about fluffing the pillows. Mm. Right, okay, the demonic radio station from earlier. That was horrible. What just fell? Something just fell. Something just fell. I have to find the thing. I have to find it. Something fell on the ground. Maybe it's a key out of here. <laughs> yeah, that radio was horrible. I'm sorry I forgot it already. Really just got it out of my mind. When is this casket gonna disappear? Hmm. Nothing on the ground. Nothing that I could see. Still locked. <gasps> Thank you! It's simple but cute, right? I appreciate it. <laughs> Bitch, you do not want to buy this apartment. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is my slogan. You have to be very, very... You have to be, you know, paying attention to details in a game like this. And I'm not that great at paying attention to details. The music is changing and getting scary as I'm walking through the rooms, though, so... Always a good sign. Oh, yeah, that will help Dexy for sure with her realtor's license. <laughs> I'll give her I'll give her the advice. Here's what you should say. Bitch. You don't want to rent that apartment. <gasps> scary noise, scary noise, scary noise, scary noise. I'm just walking around until I see or feel something. I feel like as I'm walking back and forth though, something is happening because the music keeps changing. But if there was something on the floor that dropped, I can't find it. I've played a lot from this company before, though. I 
I do tend to like this company, but sometimes, yeah, it gets confusing. Hello from Atlanta. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. I am just looking for what's next. I'm gonna crawl around a little. Maybe that will help. No one's seen anything of note yet? Nothing looks out of place or different? I don't see anything out of place or different. Looking for a note, looking for... I'm gonna turn my flashlight off, that didn't help. Yes? The spooky scariness seems to be increasing. But still nothing in the bathroom. I am at a loss. I really want those jars of pickles, though. Pray to the porcelain god. <laughs> it did look like I was doing that. I was like, crouched down. I hear you being scary. Nothing. Truly nothing. Except that noise keeps happening. I don't know what we're looking for here, Red. I've got no idea. It sounded like something fell on the ground. So I was looking at the ground, but I can't find anything that fell. Just looking for something that's different. Yes, yes, please help. I might have to look it up at this point. I've got no fucking idea. I've walked through all these rooms and I haven't seen anything that's different. Yeah, literally, the toilets are always gross. Nobody ever cleans their fucking toilets. It's hard to tell if anything's happening. <gasps> what is that? Is that a thing? A fallen object? If it is, I cannot grab it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It sounded like a key hit the ground. But I've been like crawling along on the floor. I see nothing. Nothing of note on this ground. I've been into all the rooms. That is true. Oops. If you want to be in a horror game, first step stop cleaning your toilet. A 
Okay, I've scoured the floors with no luck. This is a note we found before. Is it a dresser leg? It looked like there was something next to it. Because look, there's like that thing and then there's the dresser leg next to it. Let me move this thing out of the way to get to this fucking door. The coffin is gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, the, the floors did need to be scoured, so. Can I pick up the phone again? I cannot pick up the phone again. Wait, the coffin isn't gone. The coffin is still here. There's still nothing written on the inside. Oh, I might need to look this up, kids. Yeah, I might need to... I might need to cheat. Cheat just slightly. Just a slight little cheat. Please don't judge me. What is this game called? This game is called... Please forgive me for cheating. Please forgive me. Walk through. Because I'm lost. Maybe it was just me stepping on the shoehorn? Possibly. Winners always cheat. I love that. Okay. I'm not gonna get too far ahead. Okay. Okay, the phone call. We're at the phone call. I'm not going to show you guys because I don't want you to, to know what happens next. Leah is not a cheater. Well, she is. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's Oh, I think I know. He was talking about fluffing the pillows. I think it's a pillow thing. Hold on. I'm not going to look. I think I, reading what he had said again, I think it's going to be something with the pillows. All right, let's try it. Let's see. If this isn't it, then I'll cheat for real, but. <gasps> look at that. It's the pillows. We just have to pay more attention. That's it. Do you have the courage to stop all this? Oh, God. That was a picture of me shooting myself. I didn't like it. Okay, so we did that. We found it. Now we got to figure out the next thing. Was there a gun anywhere? I don't think there was a gun anywhere. I'm going to look at it one more time. Ew. Yo, uh, why are we hacking a lung? That was gross. Okay, it didn't really tell me much. Leah the genius. I wouldn't say that much, but. All right, the nasty coughing happened. Oh, no, not the phone again. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll be there shortly. Where's the phone? Oh, here it is. Coming. Hello, it's Pavel. My son will like it. 
Wow, I can only imagine how much he will like it. Is that all? My son will like it. I like that. Win if you can, lose if you must. But always cheat. Okay, her son will like it. Ooh, pretty music. What is this, a joke? Oh, oh, I know. I know where that is. I know what this is supposed to be a drawing of. I know what it's supposed to be a drawing of. It's this shelf that's out here. It's this one. Which means something's under it. Hell yeah, what is it? A piece of paper. We are following the clues, people. We are doing it. Win if you can, lose if you must. Cheat. And if you get caught for cheating? No, you didn't. <laughs> uh, no, Rob, you're not allowed to. You must stay till the end. I know we haven't talked in a while. You haven't shared my new hobbies with me. But what else is there for an old, lonely woman? Your father left us and you started to live your own life. And these people, they gave me hope. Hope that my life isn't meaningless, you know? Today, we will perform the initiation ritual. And tomorrow... I can't read that. Tomorrow you will have a surprise. With love. Endless love, always, mom. Okay, so her mom, his mom joined a cult, basically. Okay. They're doing the initiation ritual. Where do initiation rituals happen? The bathroom? Yes, the princess demands. Oh, oh god, another phone call? Stop calling me! Pavel, why aren't you answering my calls? I was told the house is getting ready to be demolished. Please, Pavel, call me back. They're demolishing this place? Wait, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still in here. Excuse me. Yeah? I think that came from the other room. Oh shit, the piano closed. I've been saving up my money for it all my life. What, this thing? The piano? <laughs> hello, dearie. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh, Jenna's new music video is sick, right? She did a great job. But that was definitely about a cult. Still nothing has happened in this bathroom. <gasps> what was that? What was that? Ah! That was scary. Something fell. Anything new? Anything new in the kitchen? Oh god! What do you want? I'm sorry I'm not answering your calls. My phone died and I'm locked in this fucking apartment. Oh yes, it's Pavel. I just died? It's so calm here. Quickly come join me. You'll like it? You'll find peace? Oh, I don't like... That's not what I want. Oh, she's scary. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> Holy shit! She's got moves! Yeah, it's a dance party! Oh, I think I have to go closer. I really don't want to. Oh, look at that body roll! 
Bye, your old baby. Show me more. Show me more. Oh, yeah. To the side. To the side. To the side. To the side. <laughs> Uh, oh man thank you oh yeah boy from below happening soon we actually have one of the actors in chat right now okay we're ready we're ready let's go let's go hello oh if i approach a demon during a dance he'll suck out my soul okay so we don't approach the demon okay we're just gonna not approach the dancing demon don't go near okay you're right, I shouldn't have gone near it. But I wanted to. Where else am I supposed to go? Should I hide? Should I hide in the toilet? Maybe the door's open. Oh, I died. I died? I didn't think I was actually gonna die. Are you kidding me? <gasps> okay, cool. It just brought us back. I thought it was gonna end the game. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> We're shooting on your birthday? Nice. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, seeing this thing pop up was pretty scary. But come on, she's got the moves. Okay, so we're not supposed to approach her. Noted. Noted. Yeah, where'd you read the thing about the demon sucking out your soul? He read it somewhere? Should I be looking through my notes again? Huh. Oh, nice! Project Dead Eyes is gonna appear in the flick. Nice, 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 nice. I wish that I had that authority, Squeaky. But I unfortunately do not. I'm just a lowly actor. Where did I read that this thing was going to suck out my soul? I don't like the noises. The noises are really getting me. Anybody else? Maybe I'm just supposed to watch the dance. Watch it perform. Can I go in here? Ha ha, I walked right by you, demon. Nothing happened though. I feel like I read a note about it, though. About not going by a dancing demon. Maybe when it turns its back on me? Watch the dance and tip her for her hard work. I think maybe when she turns her back on me, I can approach her. We're gonna try that. Turn around, bitch. Turn around, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Oh, no, I died. Okay. She's not wearing a garter belt. You just have to crumple up the money and toss it at her. What am I supposed to do? F 
feel like I'm supposed to be able to move that thing out of the way at some point. She takes her tips in a tithe plate. I like that. Something changed when I walked in this room. I've already read that note. I've already read that note. <gasps> Jesus? Is there a note on Jesus? Kind of looked like there was. <gasps> well, that's different. Maybe it's not different. Ooh, throw toilet water at her. Not a bad idea. Maybe I could douse her in water. Maybe this bucket. Maybe I could take the bucket? No. Can't turn the water on. Is she still out there? Hi, I see you. Если подойти к демону во время танца, он высосет мою душу. Я где-то читал об этом. I feel like him being like, oh, I read about it somewhere. It really is supposed to be like a tell for me. That I'm supposed to find the thing, the place he read it. Ooh, throw a pickle at her. I don't know. See, the TV was something you could do before, so I don't know if the TV is a thing. How do you get away from a demon? I mean, arguably saying throw a pickle at her is just funny regardless. Because that would be pretty funny. Can I call someone? The music just got way scarier in here now. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like it has any correlation. Can I click on any of these books? Uh, make a cross out of the pickles. They might have garlic in them, too. That's really for vampires, but I think it could work for her as well. Ah, Ghostbusters. I wish these games would give you fucking hints. Wait, it stopped. It stopped. <gasps> so I just had to wait it out? <laughs> I just had to wait it out? I knew I should have watched her dance. Can you? What? Why? <gasps> <laughs> Ha 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 
Ha ha ha. Okay, let's just go through all the rooms. I don't think I was a genius there. I don't know what the fuck happened. It just stopped all of a sudden. Whatever triggered it, I don't fucking know. <gasps> Were these always here? Oh. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, God. I don't think this jar of pickles was always here. There were always two on the fridge. I don't see anything. I don't see anything of note. Oh, the whispering. I don't like it! Make it stop! Oh god, make it stop! <gasps> what is that? A gun. Only five bullets need to use it wisely? Please forgive me. It's not dancing. Can I approach? <laughs> Damn it. Ignore the demon and it went away. I really think that must have been it was. Yes? How do I shoot at it? I don't know how to shoot at it. Will it tell me? Can I sneak past it? I think I should be able to. Oh, nope, I can't sneak past it. Damn it! Give me what I want and I'll go away. I don't... I don't get the Stephen King reference. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Press 1 to equip it. Oh, look at you! Thank you! Thank you, Dylan! <gasps> Did you shoot someone? Just a demon. Nobody important. <gasps> Why was it so close? Why was it so close? Hint, it's by Stephen King? That's not a hint. I hated that. I hated that. Oh, I can't go in here now. Okay. I'm confined. <gasps> I can leave. I can leave. I stopped talking to my mother since she got involved with these sick cultists. Some rituals. Mystical sessions. She tried to contact me, but I didn't agree. And then she decided to give me a present, buy an apartment in the very center. The deal was done by this sly bastard named Pavel. He cheated on my mother, even through the paperwork was, even though the paperwork was perfect. As a result, the house was demolished, and my mom died of a heart attack. She lost everything: money, son, life. I wanted revenge. One day, I saw an ad. Just pay these people money, and they put on a wicked prank. Oh my god, for him to understand what he did? From just, what? I left a gun in the hope he would shoot himself? But things got out of hand. Now he's facing jail time for homicide? Oh god. Revenge is a dish to be served. And I figured one thing for sure. No one will ever know what happened in this apartment. Personally, I don't really want to know. Farewell. Good night, Rob. Wow. So I was set up. I was set up this whole time. 
and then I killed someone. So it was a prank gone wrong. Thank you. We did it, y'all. We did it. It was a little anticlimactic of an ending, I will say. A little short, too. I feel like their games are usually slightly longer. Yeah, a little bit of an anticlimactic ending. Some of these games have that. But I will say it was scary. It, the the it, it Emika doesn't always have the the abrupt endings. It's the other company, the uh, the the Chillas Chillas, which is the um the Japanese indie horror company. Their games always have really weird endings. Um, the I feel like the Emika games are usually a little bit better with their endings. But what can you do? We did our best. But that was fun. Let me put my playlist back on, my Black History Month playlist on Epidemic Sound. Crushed it. Yeah, I will say it was a bit abrupt, but I guess what happened is, so he hired these guys to prank me and I was seeing this like demon thing cause I'm crazy obviously. Um, and I actually killed someone. Yeah, the ending was weak. I would say the ending was weak, for sure. This one got good reviews, though. The You Must game, which was the other option. That one sounded pretty cool, too. I might do that one for the next stream. That was, um... In a social network, the main character plays the quest hide-and-seek, but this time the organizers decide to move the quest to the real world. I think that one sounds pretty good. I might try that one on the next stream. But I also do you mostly do point and click adventures. Um, no, I'm so the Telltale Walking Dead game, uh, Squeaky has been trying to get me to play that. I just think that game's gonna be too emotional for me to play on stream. Hey, listen. It was still a good game. The ending was weak though. The ending was definitely weak. Yeah, I'll definitely try to check out PT. And uh, looks like we have some new friends here. So if you are new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Well, actually, you are subscribed if you're chatting. So never mind, because I have a chatter. I have a subscriber only chat. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be back soon with another stream. I don't know when. Um, how do I find me on Discord? What's my username? It should be Leah the Princess. Um, you should be able to click on my name. But if you want to DM me, um, Patreon's probably the best place to DM me. You can cry on stream. We won't bully you. Oh, I have cried on stream before. I absolutely have. Um, yes, I've done the Dark Anthology series before. It's been a while since we've done the quarry. Um... And I, I really want to do, for the quarry, I want to do an all werewolf run where you turn everybody into a werewolf. Um, I've never done that before, and so I think that that could be pretty fun. Um, so yeah, the quarry is definitely one we could do soon, but that's going to take like five streams to finish. Um, Outlast is another one I might want to go back to. Because, okay, so we've done Outlast. What are the other Outlast games? Let me check out the store and see what other Outlast games exist. Okay, the Outlast, there's Outlast 2 and the Outlast Trials. Okay, Outlast 2 is a $30 game. Ah! Um, introduces you to Sullivan Noth and his followers who left our wicked world behind to give birth to Temple Gate. Um, deep in the wilderness and hidden from civilization, Noth and his flock are preparing for the tribulations of the end of times, and you're right in the thick of it. Yeah, I mean, Outlast 2 could be an option. Oh, hey, I can buy... I can buy the Outlast Trinity for $24. Which will... Oh, that's so much better. So I can get a discount. Okay, I can get a discount um, by completing the bundle. The bundle being Outlast Whistleblower and Outlast 2. I already have two of those games. I could save a little bit money. Outlast is good. Come on. We should stream on our day off. I mean, we should. Why not? We might not be able to game, though. 
Oh, it's a co-op game. Eh, not really about the co-ops. Um, I'm not actually sure yet where we're staying. I don't I don't know if we're all staying in the same place. I don't know if we have a hotel or if we have a house. I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Luke. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what the next stream is going to be, but it's it's either going to be back to the um, anthology game. So that would be the quarry. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm like so down to do the quarry. I am on Steam. Yeah, I've got Steam and I have a PlayStation 4. Um, bring your Xbox. Ooh, I'm a PlayStation girl, but fine. No, even if, if we stream for during when we're at the boy from below, I don't have a way to stream because I'd only have my laptop with me. So it'd be hard. Um, I honestly think we might just be staying in a house, Luke. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you want advice on where to stay, my best bet would be to reach out to the director. He can probably give you info on that. Uh, um, but yeah, maybe Outlast 2, maybe The Quarry, maybe another one of these games. We'll have to see, but I might put up a poll on Patreon. So if you are a patron, you will have access to those polls to help me pick the games because that's fun and I love doing that. But yeah, The Walking Dead, I'm just not sure about The Walking Dead. I just feel like that game is gonna be too sad. But speaking of a sad game, I'm also playing right now um, Life is Strange, which was the game that I cried on stream when I played it. Uh, it was a really long time ago. Um, oh, no, I don't give out my username on on Steam. Um, I, I just keep my friends list to like my IRL friends on Steam. Um, much apologies. I could do a just chatting, though. I definitely could do a just chatting. TCM? Wait, what is TCM? Oh yeah, that game was so sad. Spooky played it recently too, Dylan, and we were talking about it. I'm like always playing one of the Life is Strange games, but I'm right now playing the original one again, and I'm really sad. There's a point in the game where like, cause you can like rewind time. So a lot of the time, if you like make a choice that you don't like, you can go back and change it. But there's like one particular choice in the game that will result in a character's death, like final death, if you don't do it correctly. And I fucked up and I did not save said character. And I was really sad about it. Cause the first time I played the game, I purposely, I saved her. The second time I played the game, I purposely killed her because I wanted to just see what that was like. And this time I attempted to save her and I failed. Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is also an option. I don't know how much that one is. Let me see how much Texas Chainsaw Massacre is. That's still a new game. I might have to wait until that gets cheaper. Yeah, that's $40 right now. Is this the new one? Yeah, I might wait until this one is a bit cheaper. Um, the $23 I might be able to, to, to do for Outlast. But yeah, we might start the quarry. That might be, that might be the next thing. Oh yeah, the that game is good though. Life is strange. It, I mean, trigger warning on it. Look up the trigger warnings for sure because it's it's intense. Are you strictly indie horror gamer? No, not strictly indie horror, but strictly horror. When I'm uh, live, strictly horror. Yeah, that's what I heard. That Texas Chainsaw Massacre is just dead by daylight. Yeah, why so expansive? Wait, it looks like the game, just the base game is 16, is $16 or no, is this? Oh no, just kidding. This is all extra stuff. What the fuck? Wow, it's like $40 for the game and then it's like a shit ton more. Yeah, for all of the extra stuff. That's wild. Well, anyway, um, 
I think that's the end of stream. Thank you all so much for hanging. Shorter than the last one. But I feel like two hours is kind of around what you can expect for the streams. And I was talking to my patrons about this, but um, there may be weeks like this where rather than the stream being additional content, it will be in, re in place of my main content. So I didn't post a video today because I was doing the stream. Um, just right now, YouTube's algorithm is changing a little bit and I'm just trying to keep up with it. I think it will change back soon, but right now they weirdly seem to be prioritizing short content and live streams. So you may have noticed I've been posting more short content to YouTube. I think I posted four shorts this week. So yeah, I'm not trying to like have you guys lose any content. I'm just trying to, to the best of my ability, make sure that my content gets seen by as many people as possible. And if doing more live streams and short content is gonna help that, then I'm gonna do that. So for this week, I forego, forego, foregone, for whatever the word is. I didn't post a main channel video because I knew that I was streaming today. I'm gonna be posting more shorts this week. Um, oh, I've played Tell Me Why. Yeah, Tell Me Why. I played that, um, I played that for Pride Month last month, last year. Um, yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. Can I bring Shane and CJ back? I mean, I'd love to. They live across the country, though. But anytime I go back home, like if if you don't know, uh, CJ, Shana, and myself all went to high school together. So um, when I go back to visit my family, I, of course, always make time to see CJ and Shana. Um, so, yeah, next time I'm home, I'd love to do another take. have CJ do another takeover and we could do more music for sure. Um yeah, a point and click game about a transgender childhood trauma. It's by the same company as Life is Strange too. Um, yeah, same company. But what I do like about that game, um, though it is sort of like centered around like the transgender experience, um, they don't do things like dead naming. Like we never learn um, the one character. I can't remember the character's name because I played it so long ago. We never learn what that character's birth name was or what their dead name was, which I, pref which I love. Even like when we go back to flashbacks and it's like before the person has come out as trans, we're still only hearing from the perspective of like their chosen name, which is cool. Uh, yeah, that's a great game. But yeah, anyway, that's kind of like a little content update for you guys about, you know, um, my content moving forward. Of course, there'll always be at least one main channel video a week. And occasionally there just might be a live stream in place of that. But once main channel content starts being prioritized again, I of course will do more of that. But yeah, just trying to uh, feed the algorithm feed the algae just a little bit. But yeah, right now I'm working on taking all of my long form videos and turning them into minute long shorts. So I did that the other day with um, my Silver Scream vlog. I edited that down to like a minute content, posted that. That short did really fucking well. Um, I'm gonna do it with the like makeup videos. I'm gonna do more like, um, I did it with the crow where I did just a, uh, a time lapse, a minute long time lapse. So I'm gonna do more stuff like that. Expect that on the YouTube channel. I've been trying to post to Instagram more as well. TikTok might be coming back in soon too, kind of working on that. So yeah, just trying to like um, do my content as the algorithm tells me to. So yeah, uh, more shorts content, more live content is what we can expect. Don't forget to join the, uh, the Patreon if you want more exclusive content. I've been posting song covers there. And like I said, at in two hours from now, actually, I might, I might, as soon as this stream ends, I'm going to make that video go live. Um, so yeah, as soon as this video ends, my gold and platinum tier patrons will be getting a new song cover. And I think that should be all of the housekeeping notes. Oh, and... I have to thank my patrons. This is a new thing for videos. I filmed a video the other day, which will be the first video where I'm personally thanking my patrons. Basically, if you're a platinum tier patron, I will personally thank you. I will say your name at the end of every video with a thank you. And if you are any of my other tiered patrons, your name will show up. The name that you have listed on Patreon will show up. Um, so... Like for example, Squeaky is just Squeaky on their Tuesday is Tuesday Twin. So that is, those are the names that I use. Um, so that will be the new ending soon screen for uh, the stream, which you'll see when it ends. So now 
I have to say goodbye. Oh, hello. Welcome in. Sorry, we're about to end. But yes, my hair hasn't it grown so much already. It's so fucking long. Hi, welcome in. Oh my gosh. All so many friends showing up just now. Oh my God. I've got hat hair. God damn. It's getting so long that I now have hat hair. Um, but let me thank my platinum tier patrons. We have Squeaky. We have Yutaka Tamanaha, Lars Baker, and Luke... I don't know how to pronounce your last name. You're going to have to help me with this, but I may have pronoun pronounced it wrong last time. Um, but yes, Luke as well. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, stream is ending now, but we'll go to that new ending soon screen that I was telling you guys about. You will start seeing this at the end of my videos as well. Thank you again to my platinum tier patrons. Am I going to shave it again? Uh, I don't know yet. We're gonna grow it out for a little and see. But unfortunately, Rachel, I'm so sorry, but the stream is ending. Thank you guys for hanging tonight and I will see you all soon. Bye.